Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I am Kenithia Johnson or Kenithia J. Welcome. Welcome back on this beautiful Sunday morning. So I do have names in this video. I do got names. I went to school with this girl who who name was um Nikki Ann Clark. I went to school with this with this one. I keep seeing her. Like I keep seeing you for witchcraft attacks. Uh Maggie Soul. Of course, she still at it. And Alf Lukau. Now I have a scripture for you. Uh you can take heed to it or not. It's up to you. Acts 5, verse 38 through 40. Acts 5. I know every time I see Nikki, I see her mom. I see her mom because she's a pastor. And is she still pastoring? That's embarrassing for you to be doing all of that in your mama pastor. That's just like. <laughs> that's what the Lord. The Lord be speaking to everybody. I think your mama be watching these videos. And low key, the Lord be speaking <laughs> right to her. I promise, yo. Now that I look at it, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Can I be like, yeah? <laughs> Get your mama. <laughs> okay. I'm getting to the book of Acts 5. If I can get there, guys. Let's look up the page number as usual. <laughs> See, Acts is in the Old Testament, right? No. I lied. Acts is in the New Testament right after John. Okay. Yeah, some people will laugh at that, but as long as you know God speaking through me and for me, I don't care about none of this little petty stuff that makes you laugh. It's fine. Yeah. You gotta, you're right. They always got to have a laugh or a high after somebody, off of somebody being put down. That's what says a lot about your character. Anywho, I found it. And the reason why I went so hard is because my book has beautiful titles to go with what we're talking about. So, Acts 5. Mm. Okay. This is good. This is so good. Ooh. Most gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for your time and your presence. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who you sent <laughs> to be the, the, the real witness. I thank you. I thank you. Our Father who art in heaven, I pray, Psalm 141, you decrease my flesh, increase your Holy Spirit. Let me say what you want me to say and get off this video. Thank you for your holy presence. Thank you. Amen. Jesus Christ, name I pray. Amen. Imprisoned apostles freed. Okay. Gamalee's advice, okay? So you are getting some advice this morning. You are getting some advice from the Lord himself through this ministry channel. And if you've been watching this channel, this is not the first time the Lord has been telling you to go in peace and you're still sending attacks, spiritual attacks, psychic attacks, spell work, enchantry, anything of that sort and so here's some advice acts 5 38 and 39 and now i say to you keep away from these men and let them alone for if this plan or this work is of men it will come to nothing it will not come to pass but if it is of god you cannot overthrow it Lest you be found to fight against God. 
And now I say to you, keep away from these men. Keep away from Kenithia. Let her alone. Let Jordan alone. Let Phoenix alone. Let the family alone. For if this plan, this work is of men, it will come to nothing. But if it is of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest you be found to fight against God. Are you fighting against God every day when he's saying yes to something? Are you fighting against God himself every day when he has said yes to something? What are you waking up to fight God against and then you say you just fight in a regular man or woman and God keeps telling you, I'm doing that. I'm putting that together. They are already finished. It's time for them to walk down the aisle. What are you fighting that you're not overthrowing because we're still together? Might be fighting a little bit, but still in a relationship. What are you overthrowing that you cannot because you're fighting against God? But that's what the Lord keep telling you as a man or woman. You're not fighting against him. You're moving in disobedience because this is something he said. Yes, yes. Amen to. And so all you're doing is fighting love at the end of the day. You're fighting against love and someone's peace, joy, happiness, things that money can't buy. And you're just messing it up for somebody just to prove you're in control or you have a certain anointing or power to people. You cannot overthrow it. Now. Damage has been done. A lot of damage to this new relationship has been done. I'm praying every single soul has to reap what they've sown. You as the man was supposed to come. So when you don't come and you procrastinate on your own time, that's judgment that you're bringing upon yourself for self-destruction. Everybody has to be obedient. Or somebody suffers because somebody is in disobedience. And they're making it seem like it's okay, but it's not. God has been rushed you to do an emergency evacuation with this woman and this daughter that you said you wanted to marry. There are consequences for everyone's actions. Whether it be the Lord breaking up that union because you never showed up and allowing one person to have a peace of mind. Because the longer you tarry and you don't come, the more spiritual attacks and worse stuff get. And it's over for nothing. Because you're looking for the next argument or something wrong to be happen, happening. So that way you could leave and God is just like, end it now. I was with some, I used to, um, I used to date this person, right? Or this person said they were, they were agreeing to the courtship. Every time it came time for this man to show up, he had a new excuse. Oh, but what if this happened? Oh, but, but she doing this. I don't like this. Don't waste your time. That's how the person is. That's why you don't go back to the past. And that's why you don't waste your time. You receive people the way they are. If they smoke when they wake up, let them smoke. That person just not for you. If they don't smoke when they wake up and you like to hit the blunt, that person not for you. They're going to complain about you. Everybody has a role to play. My gosh. My gosh. And so you as a man, you're leaving someone. <laughs> That's what God keeps saying. Just leaving you there every day. Talking about some I'm observing. No, you watching a, a heart, you watching a single mom struggle every day just so you could tell people you saw it with your own eyes. That's selfish. Help somebody out and then go tell and get some clout or something. 
If you got any other excuse as to why you don't want to be with this person, end it. Don't waste time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Stop trying to see who going to be next. Well, is she going to date this one? Is she going to date this one after me? It's not your business. Just like it's not my business who you move forward with. And uh, quite frankly, I won't give a F because you never showed up for me. So it's nothing I'm missing or I would be missing. We just would end it. That's it. We pray the Lord to heal our hearts. That's it. And he does a great job at that. You see where I'm at after all that I just went through. So stop wasting people time. Stop, stop trying to see who interested and who you're interested in. Go propose and marry them or mind your business. Stop trying to control the control. You're not God. That's what he said. We all listen to him. And when one of us don't, you miss out on the opportunity. Back to the spiritual parents. People fight in a relationship. If it is of God, you cannot overthrow it. So stop trying. God keep voicing it. He keeps saying yes. He keeps saying, I did that. I'm doing that. And you just wake up every day fighting, stalking people, harassing people in the dreams. Don't fight against God. Jacob wrestled and won. He got lucky and blessed. Don't try to be no Jacob. God is particularly for Kenithia saying there's no Jacob. You are clearly fighting against God while he is saying yes for me. He's confirming it.